Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, I hope you are enjoying the summit today. So um, my name is Yosuke Yoshida. I'm the co-CEO of Emergo uh, Middle East and Africa. So, um, okay. so today um, I would like to talk about our activities in Africa and um, what's going on in the region. Um, my, my responsibility is Africa and Middle East, so let me talk about Africa specifically. So um, I joined Emergo Cardano uh, five, six years ago when we, got, we first got listed in Bitrex, Ada got listed in Bitrex. Um, I was more in charge of the develop side of the world. I was, a co I was CEO of Emergo Japan, um, in charge of Japan and some Asian countries. But my interest gradually grew toward the emerging market. Why? Because, um, yeah, um, I thought and we thought that the technology of blockchain, it makes much more sense in the emerging market rather than the developed market. That's what we thought. We, well, I'll, I'll get back to this later. <laughs> so um, oh, before that. Uh, so. Yeah, so um, we decided to establish an entity in Dubai to oversee the Middle East and Africa uh, two years ago. And um, yeah, again, today I would like to explain what's going on there now. Okay, so uh, first of all, so why Africa? It's not very difficult. Um, the population is massive, first of all, 1.4 billion people. The median age is around 20 years old, very young population. And also, um, the penet uh, mobile penetration rate is um, quite high, over 40%. So they're ready for this new technology to come in or make things happen. It's, of course, not only us that uh, are focusing uh, in this uh, market. The VC space has grown 18x over the past six years. And it is the only market that's still growing under the global downturn. Other, other regions, as you can see, is not growing anymore, but Africa uh, is the only place that the VC money is still flowing in. Um, it's not exceptionally for Web3, actually, it's more, people are more aggressive. Uh, 11x, this is the number comparison between 2021 and 22. So the VC market for Web3 in Africa is expanding a lot. So let, let me go back to what I mentioned earlier when I said that the technology blockchain makes much more sense in Africa. I'll, I'll raise several um, examples. For example, stablecoin. Um, like we're, we're in the Web3 space, so it's useful for us. We, we use it, right? But um, what about our friends outside of this uh, Web3 world? They, they might be happy with the existing banking remittance of transaction system, right? Um, but in Africa, um, the, most of the people don't really have, don't even have bank accounts. Um, and even though that they have bank accounts, the transaction fee, all the fees are extremely high, extremely expensive. And um, so uh, when they even, when they know that the local currency is going to depreciate, they really have no options to just save their asset, like hedge their position to US dollars. They don't have the option to do that. And for example, their son works in the United States. They want them to send the money to their home country. They have difficulties to, to do all the things. And a stable coin, that, that's become, it, it's becoming the real daily um, solution for the daily issues like that. That's one. Another one would be, for example, for the um, interbanking system. So in Japan, and probably it, it works almost kind of similar in most of the developed countries, but um, if I, if I um, take out $100 from an ATM Bank A, let's say Bank A, and then um, let's say my, my bank account is in Bank B. There's an interbank remittance or settlement going on in the back end between Bank A and Bank B. 
And it doesn't happen directly. It goes through this central server. So it's a little bit complicated, time consuming, cost, cost, not really cost effective. That's how it works today. But this Nigerian startup, <coughs> they created this system uh, using blockchain to make that happen uh, directly between the banks. And it's, it's already start being used in many banks in Nigeria. So things are happening in Nigeria or maybe in Africa much more than it is happening in the developed countries, whatever, Japan, US, uh, Europe, whatever. <laughs> and as a result, how people see this um, technology, of blockchain, crypto, is a little bit, uh, or actually very different from um, how those people see the technology. In Japan or um, UK, you know, if I talk with my friends, uh, uh, by the way, my, my background is 15 years in the investment side. So they still think that I made a bad choice when I joined this crypto Web3 space five, six years ago. Right? They, they see it as like a speculation or like a scam or something. They, they still see it like that. But um, since things are really happening in those African countries, people see it in a totally different way. Like Nigeria, they see a future of money. In um, South Africa, they see it as an alternative to the traditional financial system. The way they see it is very different from like, like the people in the developed countries see the, the whatever is going on. And um, what we have done so far, um, this is the portfolio of the companies that we've invested in the past two years. Uh, there's 40 plus companies. A lot of them are in Nigeria, also in Kenya, some of them in South Africa, and also in some other countries. But um, most of them are interested to create things on Cardano and or uh, issue tokens on Cardano. We not only do investment, uh, investment I just explained about um, Emergo Capital Ventures is a venture, a joint venture between one of the most well-known uh, VCs in Africa, Adiverse. They're doing a great job on the acceleration and the incubation. Also joint venture, by the way. Um, one of the product that they recently released is CNS, Cardano Name Service. I don't really think I have time to explain about this Cardano name service. So if you are interested, there's a booth there. There are people that we brought. So um, it's, it's, a great, it's a great project. Um, please, if you have time, go to the booth. Uh, Emergo Labs, we have this development function to support all the development side of those startups. And Nodo, obviously becoming the probably the, the biggest Web3 marketing and com community platform in Africa. So we, we kind of have the whole package, investment, um, acceleration, development, marketing, to, what, to, to expand or evolve the startup ecosystem in Africa. And also we have a lot of partners. I just placed two logos, but uh, we have a lot of network, uh, great partnerships with a lot of companies in Africa now. And um, recently, uh, we have released a uh, report, African Web3 report, together with uh, PwC. Um, if you are interested in Africa or Web3, this is free. Uh, should be very much insightful. So please take a look at it. And um, if you think that Africa is going to follow the same or similar path that we've gone through, similar steps, I mean the development steps. Um, they, they're not. They're, they're, they're just going to jump or like leapfrog to, to get the latest technology. Obviously, blockchain should be one of them. And um, yeah, they, they, they won't. So um, if you want to know what's going on or if you don't want to be late in the race, uh, you should definitely know what's going on in Africa because I believe um, things are going to happen in Africa much, much, much faster than the rest of the world. Um, yeah, I'll end the speech soon. But um, for, for example, in, in China, they had um, fake banknote issues like 20 years ago. And um, yeah, they, they, had, they also had a credit card, but 
credit card wasn't accepted in a lot of uh, countryside because they, they didn't have this device in like uh, small villages, right? How they solve it? Did, did they solve this, these bank note issues or did they place more devices all over? No, no, they, 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 how they solved it is, is they, they just brought in this cashless payment, Alipay, WeChat Pay, and then, I mean, they, they just leapfrogged, and the penetration rate went much faster, much, um, much earlier than compared to Japan. Japan is still like 40 something, China has 90% penetration rate for those cashless payments, so the, the, just an example, and that's exactly what's gonna happen in Africa. So again, if you're interested, um, please uh, download. And I'm, I myself and my team will be around. So I'm happy to um, talk with you. If um, yeah, and I'm happy to do things together. And um, I think uh, it's getting crowded. It's uh, I feel like I'm becoming the popular guy, but I know we know that the next speaker is Charles Hoskinson. <laughs> So that's why we have a lot of people. So um, let's welcome Charles, and uh, thank you very much.